Hey, it's Wim. Uh, today I'm excited to share some of the improvements we've been working on the last while in our Kanban for ConnectWise solution to really remove that beta sticker and make it easy to use and so everyone's happy to use it every day and get great results from. So this is going to be a whirlwind tour. Uh, feel free to pause as required to see what's going on. Uh, number one is the horizontal swim lanes. So we can now have swim lanes looking at with different types of data. This example is by person. So you can see here's a swim lane for all showing all of Terry's tickets and their various statuses. So he's got four scheduled tickets, one in progress. We've got tickets for Joseph for the next swim lane. So this is by person to see individual workloads. Uh, here's another example by ConnectWise board. So in our training database, we have uh, changes and help desk. So here's all the change tickets, here's all the help desk. So you might have a knock board, uh, projects, different types of projects, whatever you have in ConnectWise, you can do a swim lane for each board. And there are several other types as well by location, ConnectWise, ticket priority, and so on. Uh, we have the drag and drop between columns. So if I grab this dot matrix printer failure from the new column on the left here, I can put it into my backlog and move it back and forth. And when this happens, uh, it'll update ConnectWise as well. Here I'm getting a message because the ConnectWise board doesn't actually have that status. So let me grab a different one. Uh, we can move this one around. If there's multiple statuses map, it'll ask uh, which one. Move that around. Um, so that was number two. Number three is that we are Zoom friendly. So I'll go back to this one. If I zoom in to, let's say, 125%, it's going to show one card in each column. If I zoom out, it will use the available screen space and split or uh, sorry, make the column wider as required to show more cards. This is especially nice on a high resolution resolution monitor. So in our team huddle area where we meet every morning for about 10, 15 minutes to review our tickets, we've got a 4K monitor, 65 inch, and um, we can see the majority of our tickets and what's going on. Uh, in the board setup, there's a way to also influence the weights. So you can encourage to have more uh, wider columns for certain ones, such as in progress or scheduled, um, and fewer cards and other ones that we don't care about, such as the backlog or completed. So that was number three. Number four, we also show on each card how long it's been in that status. So in this ticket for upgrade the repeater for client browse bug, it's been in this status for two weeks. So this gives you an idea of how long tickets are waiting, because um, we have the saying of waiting tickets are like Rot, rotting fruit. Just the longer it waits, um, the worse it gets. Clients are unhappy, we're losing money, it's waste. Again, then, and then when it hits a certain threshold, which is configurable, it will show the card with a red background. So this one in progress, it has a, it's in red because it's gone over a threshold. And in this schedule column, it's not red because it doesn't have a threshold set. Uh, number five, for tickets where a client has responded to the ConnectWise ticket using closed loop, it will show in bold. So we've got this ticket on the far left here called delete the server for AI box. It's showing in bold because the client responded. Number six, we have better scroll than we had before within the columns. Uh, so when you're dragging and dropping and the data refreshes, it won't kick you back to the top. Uh, it's just it's working really much better. The team, our team has been pretty happy with that. Number seven, we can co finally copy and paste the ticket numbers. If you go to the ticket number, there'll be a little copy thing to copy that ticket number to your clipboard. And number eight, you can mouse over project tickets to see the project name, because this is a service board. So let me grab a project board. to your project CRM implementation. These are all CRM tickets. This is the financial system implementation. Uh, number nine, I'm going to show you the board edit screen. So in here, we've got the new option for the swim lane field. So you can do it by project, resource, priority, location, team, company, which is client or your ConnectWise board. We've got all those filter options for boards, resources, and so on. 
And then we've got new options for the column setups. So again, name as usual, the min and max, that was there before. And then there's a new feature for the status age to enable that. It's a warning at so many days. Uh, the split weight is to in, uh, influence the split of columns to each other. And if you want one, if you set it to zero, it will never span more than one card. If you increase it, it's more likely to show more cards beside each other. Get the default, if they're all equal weights, it will just look at the number of tickets in that column and tickets with, or columns with more tickets, I will be given more space. And again, as before, we can map multiple statuses from ConnectWise into that column. Uh, so that's it. Uh, just in summary, if you would like to get into more details on any of this, any questions, um, would like to book a screen sharing demo, and learn about pricing, uh, you can click the schedule call button on the cwkenben.com website or send a message and uh, we will be happy to chat and show you what it looks like to get started. Thanks and that's it for today.